up with it, Charles E J O E Business. Welcome to the channel. <clears throat> All right, when I started doing things on South Africa on my page, I started with Nasty C and I got into it with music. I don't know what made me end up looking into stuff over the government. Um, just to like find out more information. I I think it was just from some of the documentaries um, I've done. And, you know, the more I watched and, you know, they brought up like a problem with white farmers, especially um, out here in the United States. It's like whenever they talk about um, South Africa, a lot of times, like they talk about white farmers being killed. The thing that's brought up so much about that, why especially people over here, how they act like it is because they feel that there's people that never say white people are racist. I mean, that people just feel that only white people are racist, like nobody else is. So that's what they bring that up to. All right, I'm not gonna talk during this because I never listened to this um, little, it's a podcast website. I never listened to it because there was like one girl on there. I just found her very annoying. But this is about to be the first time I've heard anything to it or listened to it. The person that's on here, Lauren Sutherland, she did a documentary called Farmlands. Um, there was somebody that told me in one of my comments how they were very excited about uh, watching it, being able to watch Farmlands. But then they said how it was all one sided. Now, I have a feeling because how this um, this podcast is. If they say liberal, you guys, this was two years, okay, two years ago. So if they say liberal, that's Democrats. Um, that's what Joe Biden is, how he's about to become president. Um, that was what Obama was. I don't like saying liberal. I just say Democrat, you know, but um, they're probably going to mention that. I have a feeling. So we're about to watch this right now. I'm not going to stop it. I know I'm going to want to, but let's watch this all the way through. Let me know how you guys feel about all this, okay? Just let me know how you guys feel about all this. Because that's something big, like what a lot of white people, they feel whenever they bring up South Africa, they try to find out things over there that's racist. You know, like basically trying to say, we're not, it's not just white people, it's racist. Like they just try to throw it like, you know, black people, you know, black people, they kill white people. All right. Um, okay, so let's watch this. I won't stop it. For some reason, I think this is going to kind of annoy me from watching this. I don't know, just something about it, you know, but um, I'm going to watch this. We are going to watch this. I will not stop it. Okay. I want you guys to leave a comment. Let me know how you guys feel about all this. All right. So, <sighs> all right, y'all. So the president, um, and Chris Cuomo, challenged him about his thoughts on South Africa. Let's uh, get an update from Lauren Southern right now. Hey, Lauren, how are you? Well, how are you? Doing well. Uh, this is something that you've covered, and I believe we've had you on to discuss yeah, before. Twice. Uh, yeah, two times. And you can find out more about Lauren and, and what she's covering with this stuff at laurensouthern.net. Is that right? That is correct. Okay. So... What is going on in South Africa? Is it true that white farmers are having their farms taken from them? Yes. It's insane to see the liberal media right now saying that Trump is a conspiracy theorist. This is all lies because this is quite public knowledge. The South African government has said they're doing it. They've started seizing their first couple hundred farms. Now, what the liberal media are trying to spin it as is they're saying, oh, the government, first of all, they're saying this is in the Constitution, so it's allowed. Yes, you can amend your country's laws to do any number of horrible things. You can amend your country's laws to say Jews aren't humans or white land can be taken, right? right. So they just amended the yep. laws to say we can steal from white people. And that is what is occurring in South Africa. And I'm so glad that Trump has called this out because the UK government said, we need land reform. Every other government has been completely silent on this topic because they are afraid of pissing off the South African government, which it shouldn't matter. What they are doing is unethical. 
we should call it out. Any nation that believes in property rights and not discriminating against people's skin color should call this out. Well, the thing is, Lauren, this this is also isn't new. This didn't just start happening a week ago. They've they've amped it up. But this goes back a decade when they started doing this stuff. Right. So when Mandela came in, he said the goal was they wanted to take land from white people from the start. They wanted it to be a uh, a nation where mostly the Bantu people own the land. But what's crazy is Mandela at least said they wanted to compensate white farmers for the land. So uh. the current ANC is even more radical than what communist Mandela was proposing for the policy because they aren't giving any compensation at all. They're just stealing the land from these farmers. Now, are they injuring the farmers? Well, this is something that uh, is is a little more controversial to talk about. The land issue is 100%. We know they're stealing uh, land from farmers based on their race. The other side to this is there are farm attacks going on against South African bore white farmers constantly where they are being tortured raped just horrific things and a lot of this comes from the rhetoric in the nation that everything is white people's fault they deserve to be punished for the crimes of apartheid even though of course uh, it wasn't all whites that participated or created that system and another thing that is very scary is that true um only reason why i asked that true because out here back in the day with slavery and all that, obviously white people put that together, you know, and as time went on, how like the civil rights and all that, how like people were split up, you know, like black people only can go right here, white people can go right here. That wasn't created by um, black people. Obviously that was, you know, it was white people that did that. Once again, you guys, you guys all need to know all right, if anybody, I'm sure white people are watching this. I'm not racist, okay? I don't want you to think that. Only re- reason why I'm saying that is because what I'm saying right now and how I'm black. And I don't want people just to think that. All right, but um, let me know everything, how you guys are feeling. I'm not going to stop anymore. Let me know everything, you guys. I'm done stopping. All right, I said I wasn't going to, but I know I did. Let's just go is there is a successful politician in South Africa, one of the second largest parties there called the Economic Freedom Fighters, who has said, we don't quite want to kill whites yet, but no promises for the future. And he has sung songs about killing whites. He has said we need to cut the throat of whiteness. Ah. So, well, white farmers are not being killed yet. There are politicians that are elected in South Africa saying that may very well be the plan for the future. Okay, so we have no proof yet. The, the reason I bring that up, obviously, is you know, the president tweeted, I have asked Secretary of State at Sec Pompeo to closely study the South African land and farm seizures and exp- uh, expropriations. Uh, I'm sorry, ex... Yeah, expropriation. And the large-scale yeah. killing of farmers. South African government is now seizing land from white farmers. So oh, killing no, of it, farmers... It, It is a fact that there are a large scale killing of farmers in South Africa. I I just it's not confirmed whether it's the government facilitating it or not. But if anyone can look into it, one of the most dangerous jobs on Earth to to work is as a farmer in South Africa. (laughs) Okay, so give us an idea of um, of how this is being laid out with them taking farms, because they've already taken some. And I imagine that more are coming. Right. So right now, why the liberal media is trying to say this isn't a big deal is the first farms that are being taken are are farms called fallow land. So it's land that's not currently being used. But if people know anything about farming, it's that you have to rotate where you are putting your crops. Otherwise, you will overuse the land and make it entirely unusable. So There are white farmers that are leaving their land fallow so that it will be healthy and they can plant crops there later. Uh, And then the government is just coming in and taking those. And this is this is an extremely scary thing, because, first of all, I've been through the Bantu stand farming areas. So These are the black tribal homelands. And most of the land there have these huge cracks and rivets in it from over farming. And that land is practically useless for decades afterwards. 
And white, the white farmers, the Boer farmers, as well as black farmers, they feed about 2,000 people per farmer. So you get rid of this fallow land from farmers, you give it away to people who don't know how to farm. Not only are you taking away a food source for thousands of people, but you are potentially damaging the land for decades afterwards by giving it to people who don't know how to farm it. And we know that the ANC are not going to be giving this farming land to expert farmers. They're going to be giving it to friends of their party. They're going to be giving it to political uh, operatives. They're going to be giving it to people who uh, are going to support them because that's what this is. This is a policy brought in for votes, not to do something ethical. All right, I'm stopping now. Let me know how you guys feel. Just everybody, let me know how you guys feel, okay? Um, I'm sorry, you know, that, you know, like over here in America, how a lot of people, we don't know what anything is, like what's going on. You know, how about this, you guys? Just like I said, like I'm a real reactor, I'll keep it real. The first time I heard about, you know, like the land being taken and like people just getting killed and how like, like how they just made it seem like it was just like nothing but like white people being killed. It was like, damn, man, that's like harsh. And then when I heard about um, Julius the first time and like about the killing white people, I was like, oh, my gosh, you know, but I know that there's a lot more to that, you know, because like what what they just said. They made it sound like all Julia said is that. Okay. Let me know everything, you guys. Um, thank you. Let me know everything, okay? Um, yeah. I'm sorry that this is like a lot of what people know over in America that we don't know a lot of positive stuff that goes on. You know. So, let me know though. Alright, man. Much love, you guys.